welcome to TV TV Sport for Hanworthy Recreation against Portland Rovers in the FA Cup preliminary round. So, just so that we're all on the same page, Hanworthy Rec are operating at step five of the non league pyramid, whereas Portland Rovers are sitting at step four. So, we've got a bit of a David V. Goliath type thing going on here. And don't forget, before we get started, that I take a lighter look at non-league football. So if you're easily offended, don't be. This is meant to be entertaining, not the World Cup. So, with no further ado, here's your officials, and here's your starting 11s and squads. Didn't take very long at all for Bolton to put their stamp on the game. Yeah. yeah, get used to that voice, you're going to hear a lot of it. McBeam feeds Simpson and he does the rest. As the match wore on, it was getting a little bit tasty. Not sure there'll be too many Christmas cards swapped here. And it has to be said that Portland were carving out the best of the chances in the first half. Take him on! Drive in the box! At this point, the Porton number seven had been on the floor more than he'd been on his feet, so it's no surprise when, even though this was a foul, I think, he got booked for diving. Let's see what my co commentator thinks. Well, I can't wait to see that, Max. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? When you're running at that speed, it don't take much. Wise words, Jimmy, wise words. On the occasion where Wreck did get out of their half, they were met by the imposing figure of Dan Jackson. Do it, Milo! So into the second half we go with Rex still trading 1 0 and an early chance for the visitors. Having run half the length of the field, only to lose the ball, Jack Farian thinks, nah, sod this, I ain't running all the way back there. We're just short of the hour mark and Wreck is starting to put a few moves together. Having recovered from his little jaunt a few minutes earlier, Farian finds himself up the pitch again and goes on a little run. Up, 
Farian eventually works a crossing position, finds Simpson who hits the post and it falls to Rawlins who smashes it home. 2-0 to Poulton. Just over 10 minutes later, we get the wreck response. Again, it could be a little harsh. I'm not quite sure what else he can do with his arms because they are attached to his body. But the referee awards a penalty and just to even things up, screws around with George Dean. Dean buries it and the home side are back in the wreck and then, <laughs> see what I did there? How long is it? None of your business, mate. <laughs> now, fasten your seatbelts. I've got Chris Long on video doing that for another club. This ain't no fluke. So things were getting quite tetchy and we all know that teams try and take as much advantage as they possibly can. But I don't think I've seen this happen quite so blatantly before. Keep your eyes on the guy rolling around on the floor. I think I almost admire it. Hmm. I know, you're all worried, but don't worry, a miracle occurred. So in a match that had had everything apart from, incredibly, a red card, there was still time for one final chance. And that, my friends, was that. Port and Rovers run out 2-1 winners and progress into the next round. Best of luck to them and tough luck to Hamworthy Wreck. If you made it this far, well done. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like and comment and I'll see you next time maybe. Stay safe.